Hey, welcome to Moon Facts. So today's artwork didn't initially have a story behind it, which is kind of surprising because of all my artwork, this one seems to be exploding with a backstory, quite literally. And I think that's because in other artwork, when there's a beacon, some sort of beacon of light like this, it often symbolizes hope. And I've run out of hope so many times before in my life, but I'm still delusional enough to pull it out of thin air. I guess my point is I'm not on very good terms with the concept of hope. All this is to say, I avoided thinking too deeply into this piece because it represents something I find difficult, but still I kind of yearn for it behind my own back. In one of my earlier videos, before I started recording voiceovers, I wrote something in, in the description that I think would also go really well with this piece, and I'm going to read it to you. Okay, so for some quick context, I've renounced the religion I was raised in, and the people from my religious past might view me as having spiraled uncontrollably to rock bottom. But from my view, taking the bitter plunge below only led to a vastly different glistening surface of water where I found fresh air much more suited to my aching lungs. So I think for this piece, that paragraph can be applied in the sense that I'm allowed to hope for what I naturally am going to hope for. Because as a child, I was taught that there are specific things that I'm allowed to hope for and that are morally correct to hope for, but it was a very narrow lens, a very narrow take on life that did not fit the person I am. So when I was told I had to hope for something so rigid, it just destroyed the concept of hope for me because I... I lost all my hope, hoping for stuff that wasn't suited for me. All this is to say that if I were to go through this door of hope, I think that what awaits me on the other side would be the ability to cultivate my own perspective in a way that's perfectly suited for me. So for example, I grew up around a lot of doomsday preppers and from their perspective, there's 
nothing good left in the world and the apocalypse is creeping up right behind our backs and it's gonna happen any second now and that type of reality just really messed with my brain and now I'm trying to change my perspective to a little less intense and and hopefully resolve some of my perpetual anxieties anyways I'm curious to know what kind of things you guys hope for versus the kind of hopes that people have tried to project onto you so comment and let me know I just want to say real quick that any personal stuff I share, I'm I'm desperately trying to leave all the pain behind, but it's not so easy and simple. And I don't I don't really want to be known for something that I'm trying to leave in my past, but I've got to work through them somehow. And I guess I'm thinking that because I've got to work through this either way, I might as well be open about it. And if there's anyone else who's going through the same stuff I'm going through, um, you're not alone. So I'm hoping that we can all, can we, <laughs> that we can all capitalize on my pain and use it to recover, I guess. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the art at the very least. And thank you for all the support that you guys have been showing me. I don't know if you realize how much it genuinely means to me.